G'day, um, I'm gonna try uh, in this ex sorry in this uh, sim simulation. I'm going to show you how, how to use the GPS module in order to um, in order to get the coordinates um, or location of the wasp mode and save those uh, different variables such as the date, the time, the longitude and latitude to their own variables because um, some people might want to um, send those variables uh, data to a server or, or to another wasp mode or save it to an SD card etc. But uh, the main idea is to um, get that location and also to uh, verify that, that this is a uh, this location which are we which we're receiving is the correct location um, and we, we I'm going to verify that using uh, Google Earth so first of all um, um, I'm going to upload the code to the wasp mode so um, this code here I'll um, provide it I'll upload it to my uh, website and you guys can download it or um, yeah, use it so I don't mind anyway um, it's very similar to the one actually in the um, in the examples that's um, examples in the wasmot IDE except that um, um, my, my code would allow you to save the actual variables to their own um, unique um, um, variables so yeah so it's not this is the only difference really so I've up, up actually uploaded the code so um, I'm gonna open the um, serial serial monitor now so and um, usually it takes around a um, minute or two the reason why um, the reason why um, it takes that a minute, four minutes, five minutes sometimes um, is because right now I'm actually inside, inside, uh, inside my house. So um, I'm I'm near the window, but usually for this to have the optimum um, co connection, you would have to be outside in an open area. So uh, there'll be no problems between uh, communication between the module and the and the satellite um, so um, but I've tested it before and if you're like sort of facing if you're on a high grounds the windows open and and uh, wasp mode is uh, sort of exposed to that window then it should not uh, should not be a problem um, so um, Usually it takes, like I said, uh, three to four minutes. Right, uh, so here we go. Now we've got the connection. Um, it took a while, I guess it took about four or five minutes um, for it to do this connection, but eventually it did connect. Uh, as you can see, the uh, coordinates are in, are in the form of uh, latitude and longitude and altitude. And you could use you could use um, you could use these coordinates to uh, you could use Google Earth to find out the coordinates or the location. So um, the Google Earth um, accepts uh, searches in terms um, in the form of uh, la uh, latitude and then and then longitude. Um, so uh, the first po the first portion of it. Is it's done like this. You've got the days, the hours, the minutes, and the seconds, and then the uh, direction: um, south, east, west, north. Um, so um, let me just stop the wasp mode and just compare one. So now here, let's take uh, this latitude and this longitude. So approximately the same. Um, let's fly out to first New York. So here we go to New York, and then so 
Uh, here we are in New York. Now let's fly to the location which uh, the GPS is uh, given us. And all the way to Australia. And uh, the actual the actual uh, results is within within a reasonable accuracy, so maybe to, to 20 to 30 meters radius. So it gives good um, it gives a good um, measurement. So it's good. So I hope it helps. Uh, like I said, I'll upload the code to the website, and you guys can download it from there. Thank you for listening.